東方丈助お前はこの二重裏を奥安のザ・ハンドが消す Alright, so、uh, first of all, I just want to say sorry because I haven't been uploading for quite a few days now.、Um, I've just been busy quite lately. So, um, anyway, um, here's another tutorial for you guys. So, first thing that we're going to do is make the bars. So,、um, to do that, we're going to add a square shape layer. Then stretch it to composition area and just trim that. There you go. And then you can make it bigger. Then change the color to black. There you go. And then we're going to duplicate that. Then、um, change the color. Any color. Just not black. And then go to scale and split the width and the height. And then we're going to reduce the height. And as you can see, there's our bars. Now, all we gotta do is go here at blending opacity, select mask, and then select exclude, and then group both these layers.、And、there you go, there's our、uh, bars. Um, next thing we're going to do is、uh, mask the blade because that's the object that we want to go over the bars. So, in order to do that, we're, going, we're just going to do a vector drawing. So, in vector drawing, you're just going to add a point to where you want to start. So, I'm going to start right about here. And then you're just gonna start making more points until you trace out the whole blade or the whole object you want to、uh, trace. If you want, you can、um, unselect the shape layer. And then、um, just move the composition so that you can see where you're putting your points at. Now you're just gonna go back here and、um, continue what we were doing. Actually, for this part, we're just gonna go all the way here at the top, and then we're going to just add. Oops, where is it? Yeah, we're just going to add another point here, then make a curve. So, in order to make a curve, you can select this. There you go. And then select this. You can adjust them separately.
all right so about here we are done so now once you're here um, you're just gonna click on this and then click on this and that will connect the um, two ends of the shape now we have um let me just exit out there you go and now we have this shape right here so um it's not perfect but that's fine all right not everything is perfect all right um next thing we're going to do is duplicate the clip and then um we're going to go to the shape layer select mask select mask again and then um we're going to group the shape layer and the duplicated clip layer there you go and then we're just gonna put that part above the bars like so and now as you can see the blade is now over the bars now you can change the angle of the bars as well if you want as you can see you can adjust it like this um, uh, I think yep like that just make it bigger there you go you can adjust the um, the bars like that or like that you can change it however you like but uh, I'm just gonna keep it at this there you go I think that looks cool anyway yeah that's it that's how you uh, put objects um, over the bars um, I believe Nino has already done a tutorial for this or Nishi uh, as because he changed his name now but that was on CapCut this time it's in a light motion anyway uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, peace also um, before I forget uh, my TikTok account is now linked in the description so um, if you want to visit my TikTok account it's there um, it's, uh, it's where I upload some Genshin memes and yeah yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching peace